Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have my cotton cuts to get open. Um, I, I, I need this. I need this. It's comic relief for me too. You guys are always saying, oh, you crack me up. Listen, anything that's going to like bring a big old smile to my face, which getting my cotton cuts always does. Um, I, it, I'm, I'm always ready for it. I'm super stoked. <laughs> So let's get it open. I haven't even cut the tape yet, so let's do that. Hey guys, I'm busting in here for just a minute to let you guys know that the next puzzle mystery quilt for Cotton Cuts, which will start uh, in February, is called Sparkle and Shine, and they are going to open enrollment on Friday, December 4th. And so following my little face right here you're going to see um information about all the different colorways and be sure to let me know down below which one you're going to be in for because i can't wait to hear what everyone has to say i think i'm doing quartz <laughs> if i'm not remembering that correctly i'm going to let you know down below so that you can see um but i'm very excited about uh, Friday, December 4th, when they are going to open up at 7 a.m. And I think that that is central time. And you're, you know that if you have one that you want, you best get there early just in case because some of them sell out very quickly. Um, so if you want to let them know that I sent you over the special code, which will get you a free gift is Yvette sparkle and shine and you want to spell out and i'm going to put that down along the bottom here too all the information that you need is in the design um the um description <laughs> oh my goodness the description drop down menu and i'm going to put as much as i possibly can in that first pinned comment as well um so you should have all the information you need and i'm going to be posting about this obviously um, all over my social media and hopefully I have enough time to get a blog post in so that you can really sit and study all of the different colorways and again let me know in the comments which one you want okay back to regularly scheduled programming okie dokie here we go all right so here's what the box looks like when you pop it open Oh my goodness. Um, so the quote is, remember why you started. And Kim did my box. Kim, sweetheart, I miss you so much. I, I do. I ha it has been so long since we've been in a room together. And um, I just miss you guys. I just shook the whole table. <laughs> I have like something happened to this table and watch. <laughs> so I try to remember not to put my arms down. Okay. Um, so Kim selected my fabrics and um, she sent over. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. So I have in this box batiks uh, and the batiks for this month are Cubism by Banyan Batiks for Northcote Fabrics. And she sent florals, and the florals this month are Cherished Moments by Poppy Cotton. I know me some cherished moments. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I love Poppy Cotton. I just, I, I, lately I've been loving everything that they have. Um, okay, and then I have received Juvenile and Children's, which is small, S-M-O-L, just in case you're looking for it, by Kimberly Knight of Ruby Star Society for Moda. And she also sent me some blenders, which is Warehouse District by Wishwell for Robert Kaufman Fabrics. Um, I think I saw some small... I just don't remember what it looks like, and I'm very familiar with cherished moments, as you guys know. Um, and the uh, so the other three are, are kind of up in the air, but I'm looking at them and thinking, 
It seems like I'm going to be able to figure it out, though. So we'll have to see about that. Um, okay. Oh, my goodness. Exciting news. Line work by Tula Pink for Free Spirit Fabrics arrived early, and we couldn't wait to share it with you. Please note, small by Kimberly Knight of Ruby Star Society for Moda Fabrics will be the Juvenile and Children's Fabric Selection for December. Oh, okay. So, I got line work in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm like, now now I'm excited. I'm so excited. Jelly Bean even came up. JB, we're getting line work, buddy. Yeah, line work. Remember Tula? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm... Thank you, Kim. I'm so excited. Um, okay. So, uh, the block of the month is called Broken Dishes. I had no idea that this was called Broken Dishes. It looks like this, guys. That's Broken Dishes. You guys probably all know. Because every time I say, hey, I didn't know that was called blah, blah, blah. Y'all always know. <laughs> of course, I don't really... I Maybe I just don't pay too close of attention I don't know, maybe. I have no idea why I wouldn't know that. But anyway, so we have our um, coloring sheet. And if you post a completed coloring sheet before the 15th of the month and hashtag CC color challenge, then you will be eligible to win a prize. And this time it is a Chroma Petite Pop. Okay. The designer spotlight is Satomi Quilts. I hope I'm saying that right. And here she is. That's Satomi Quilts. I'm sure that's the name of her company. Let's see. Hello, my name is Satomi. Oh, her name is Satomi. That's great. My name is Satomi. I'm from rural northern Japan and now live in beautiful northwest Connecticut, Oh my goodness! <laughs> With my husband and two young children. I began quilting nearly 10 years ago when my husband's mother and a, an experienced quilter originally from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, this is, it's too much. <laughs> offered to teach me. She taught me hand applique, hand quilting, paper piecing, and techniques that she had spent decades learning, refining, and teaching others. The first quilt I made with her assistance changed my life. I've been making quilts and handmade items for my family and for local charitable causes ever since. Aside from my family, designing quilt patterns and making quilts is my greatest joy. I look to nature, to the many places I've been fortunate to visit and to live, and the experience of meeting so many amazing people around the world through quilting as inspiration for my patterns and quilts. I hope that my creations help inspire you to also enjoy what you love. That's wonderful. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So as as per normal, as as usual, <laughs> we get to choose one free quilt pattern of Satomi's. Um okay, so top left is Beach Day. Bottom left is Merry Little Christmas. Top right is Farmhouse Mason Jars. And bottom right is Rainbow Showers. So you guys let me know what your favorites are. This is going to be very difficult with a kitty cat in the way. Oh, it's not going to... Jelly Bean. It's just because he's a different color. There they are. Let me try to get closer. Okay, so this is the Farmhouse Mason Jars. This is the rainbow showers. Sorry, I can't read backwards. Um, this is beach day and merry little Christmas. So you tell me which one would you pick if you were given the option? I don't know. I mean, for me, oh my goodness. I like them. I like all of them, really. <laughs> I don't know. You have no idea. Sometimes 
I sit down and I'm 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 studying for like an hour trying to go okay I'm, I'm just gonna come back to it and then I'll pick it up again and I'm like oh, I don't know and I end up buying you know like getting one free and buying like the rest of them or something like that you know um oh my goodness Okay, our lanyap this month. Um, this month, our special thank you is a Hexi mask kit from One Common Thread, a special organization that teaches women living in Honduras the skill of sewing small hexagons that are used to make quilt kits. This allows the women to stay at home with their children while also earning an income to provide for their families. For more information and to see their beautiful quilts, visit www.onecommonthread.org. Oh my goodness. So look it, we got like this whole little packet and it's full of hexes. And let me just pull this out. Look how they put like a little, a little ribbon on there. Isn't that cute? Okay. All right, so we have a little card in there. It says one common thread org has a mission to help women living in poverty in developing countries earn an income. We do that by offering them the opportunity to work and make money from home while still tending to their families. This provides them the opportunity to give themselves and their children a better and more stable way of life, empowering women one hexagon at a time. And it says, please accept this gift from onecommonthread.org. Enclosed in this bag is enough hexagons to make two PPE masks. Directions on how to make your masks using these hexagons can be found as a video tutorial at onecommonthread.org. While at our website, we encourage you to read a little about our mission to help women in developing countries and consider making a purchase of their quilt kits or their finished products. All proceeds go back to these amazing women like Julie pictured above. And here's Julie kind of, it's good. You just got a bit a little bit. I mean, it's in a box, you know? So that's Julie right here. I'm assuming that's her. These are her children. I'm quite sure that that's Julie right there. And these are her kids. Okay. So obviously, you know, I need to go and figure out um, how to do this, but you, we get one of these little guys and we have some um, elastics to make two masks, right? And then we have all these hexes that they made. And I mean, you guys, they're all handmade. And we've got some solid colors. We have some stripes. Um, this is really nice. I I mean, honestly, I can't wait to go and figure out how do you how do you make this. Um, listen, there's there's a lot of hexies. We have a lot of hexies here. <laughs> enough to make two masks um okay so i'm gonna put everything back inside that's really great kim kim does wonderful things like this i just you know she's always looking for stuff like this where she can give back and i she's just amazeballs she really is guys um okay let me put this back in here so i don't lose the the website address Okay, put that there. All right, so here is my fabric. And at first glance, you're kind of like, oh, it's not really Yvette's colors. Like over on this end, it's kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. But we haven't got them out yet. <laughs> so, so we'll have to see. Um, but I, I'm telling you what, 
this side over here is like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so let's get it open. I keep putting my arm down. I'm sorry. I'm like vibrating the whole table. Um, okay, so let me pull these babies out. Okay, so here they are. Are you seeing them all? Okay, so again, we have Cubism by Banyan Batiks. Floral is... Um, the Cherished Moments by Poppy Cotton. We have Line Work by Tula Pink and Warehouse District by Wish Will. Um, okay, so right on the top. I mean, this is Line Work. <laughs> I know Line Work. Um, this is the Zebras and the really great thing. I mean, I know you guys... Okay, so maybe not everybody has seen line work. <laughs> I'm going to act like nobody has seen line work. Um, basically, line work is, and this is very basically, um, but this is Tula's black and white line. And she put little pops of color in um, spaces in there. And then what it does is it goes from, um, like it's, it's, like ombre kind of thing where or rainbow where it starts one color this way and as it moves down um the colors in the in the pattern change so you can see where it starts all the way at the end at like the pink and then it goes red orange yellow green um blue indigo violet roy g biv uh <laughs> Anyway, so it's, and, and they're all like that. It's gorgeous. And I know what I got next. Oh my goodness. I, um, I actually ordered a little bit, a, like a little bit is what I'm, I mean, seriously, little bit of line work. Um, and one of the things that I got, it, I haven't received it yet because I'm on the second, um, I'm on the second go round, um, because they have like different printing schedules. So, um, I got some 108 back, um, backing fabric in Sketcher. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. So this is, this is line work, like faux shizzle. Okay. <laughs> this is also line work. This is Sketcher, but this is in the regular, um, just the regular 42 to 44 inch fabric. It's not the 108 backing. Um, the backing, she took Sketcher and she just increased the size since there was like way more, you know, room in the back to put all that. So it's just, anyway, but this is the smaller version of it and it's still just as gorgeous. Um, this is her actual sketches. These are actual sketches that Tula drew out as she was coming up with this line. And if you're a fan, oh my goodness, you you have to have this fabric. I mean, this I I doubt that I'll ever use this piece. I I just want to like you know I need to get a yard of it is what I need to do so that you can just see it all. I just it's amazing. I think people who can draw are amazing. If you can, if you can't tell, I can't draw. <laughs> so I'm envious. Um, and to have that, to have that, you know, like her draw, I just think that's so amazing. And yeah, I do. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> Okay, so that's the second fabric, and it's not staying, but that's okay. I'll get it back in a box. This is, again, line work, and this is the one with the lemurs, and she calls this one lemur alone. <laughs> lemur me alone. That's what it is. Lemur me alone. <laughs> and here it is, and on this one, you can tell a lot better about the colors, um, and how they change as it moves through the fabric. Are oh, you seeing the whole thing? Yeah, okay. Um, I love the lemurs. I think they're great. 
Okay, so that's definitely line work. Most people, and probably not everyone, because I know not everybody's a fan. That's okay. We don't all love the same stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who are just like, you could have just given me a box of Tula. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh okay I'm folding this up because y'all know I can't just not fold it up because I also got to put it back in the box after we're done and I hope I'm folding this back right I think I am boop boop be doop boop all right let's see if I can get this to stay oh you know what I think I turned it the wrong way that's all because it's already used to going one way Okay, um, this is poppy cotton. <laughs> this is some cherished moments. And this is gorgeous fabric. I love it. And I know, see, now I know I can hear everybody. Yvette, you don't like flowers. It's not that I don't like flowers. It's that I don't like the majority of flowers. Like this, it's adorable. Like it's, you see, like this is my aesthetic. That's how I like flowers. So, see, like, the next one is one of my least favorite. I'll show it to you. You'll see. It's different. It's not exactly the same. But there's, I, I can't, I can't, like, pinpoint it. It's so hard to try to explain to people. Um, you know, like, because everybody has such different taste. Um, okay, so, see, now, I like this one. Don't get me wrong. But this is one of my least favorite. Like, if you look at how this one is. It's almost like it's um, kind of old fashioned. So I would use this as like a, a blender um, to put between a couple of pieces of fabric that, you know, would need this in between them to like bl bring them together. And um, so I like it. It's just not one of my faves. And also, did I say this is Poppy Cotton? This is Cherished Moments by Poppy Cotton. <laughs> and. This is also Cherished Moments by Poppy Cotton. Um, it's that same first print, but in black. And I prefer it in the lighter color, but I have to say that black is, like, it's growing on me when it has these lovely colors in it. It's growing on me more and more. Okay. Let's see. This is definitely a batik. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this month is going to be really easy for me. <laughs> this is a batik. So, um, it is called Cubism by Banyan Batiks for Northgood Fabrics. And this, these colors, I mean, I don't know how well they're coming over on the camera, but they are vibrant and gorgeous, actually. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong way. Let me put this down there because they're, they're like falling. Um, this is also Cubism by Banyan Batiks for Northgood Fabrics. I do like that pattern. It's very pretty. Um, oh, this is another Cherished Moments by Poppy Cotton. And see, like this, it's that same print, but to be honest, I like it much better in this color. Like this, I would totally use this one. So sometimes it's the color too that will like sort of influence how I feel about it. This color is gorgeous. I love it. Okay. And then we have more Banyan Batiks. This is Cubism. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on, hold on, because I'm forgetting. This is not, this is Warehouse District. Because I've actually seen this. This is Warehouse District. This is Warehouse District. I've said it a hundred times now. So just to let you know, this is Warehouse District. <laughs> Warehouse District by Wishwell for Robert Kaufman Fabrics. Not a huge fan, I have to say. <laughs> I really apologize. Um, but I have to say it feels nice. I mean, it's it's nice and soft. I do like that. Um, this is also Warehouse District. 
And I know they're going to be, because this kind of uh, print is like become really popular lately. So I'm sure there are loads of you guys who love this. So please let us know down below. We have to have some love for Warehouse District. <laughs> and finally, I think that this is Cubism by Banyan Batiks. I mean, it looks sort of batik, but but not. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's like it, it. I love it though. I love this this like abstract flower pattern. I like that. I'm pretty sure that this is Cubism by Banyan Batiks for Northcote Fabrics. I'm gonna lock it in. Bang! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's everything. Let me try to put the um, collections together since we normally don't. Normally we get them like in a, a color flow, sort of. All right, let me put them back in here and get like that. And then give me that pop of cotton. And last but not least, some line work. <laughs> Okay, there are my fabrics, and definitely my faves are over in this direction. <laughs> um, anyway, I would love to know what you guys think about the fabrics that I have received this month. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think um, our lanyap is pretty awesome. And let me know what you think about the whole thing. I'm really interested to hear. Um, and just a reminder, uh, if you are watching the video and you hear something come out of my mouth, but it's different from what I have put on the bottom of the screen, please know that whatever is on the bottom of the screen is correct. Because right now, I'm just kind of winging it right? Um, so if you are interested in finding some of this fabric, you will have the correct name of the line and the designer on the bottom of the screen. And I'm so happy that you guys joined me tonight. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. Mwah.